China's aerospace industry has experienced rapid growth in recent years, driven by government support and investment. According to a report by the China Aerospace Science and Technology Corporation, the country's aerospace industry grew by 10.3% in 2020, reaching a total output value of over $1.4 trillion. In terms of market share, Chinese aerospace companies have made significant gains in recent years. In 2020, China's share of the global aerospace market increased to 12.1%, up from 9.4% in 2015. Investment in Chinese aerospace startups has also been on the rise. According to a report by the investment firm, CB Insights, Chinese aerospace startups received over $1.1 billion in funding in 2020, up from just $100 million in 2015. One of the key drivers of the growth of Chinese aerospace startups is the government's Made in China 2025 initiative, which aims to promote the development of high-tech industries, including aerospace. The government has also established a number of investment funds and programs to support the growth of aerospace startups. A new era in space exploration. The aerospace industry is on the cusp of a revolution, driven by the emergence of Chinese tech startups that are disrupting traditional norms and reshaping the market. For decades, the aerospace industry has been dominated by a handful of established players, primarily from the United States and Europe. However, China's strategic investments in space technology and innovation have given rise to a new generation of startups that are challenging the status quo. Why Chinese Tech Startups Matter in Aerospace These startups are entering the aerospace industry at an unprecedented pace, bringing with them a unique blend of technological expertise, entrepreneurial spirit, and government support. They are leveraging China's strengths in areas like advanced manufacturing, artificial intelligence, and 5G technology to develop innovative solutions for space exploration, satellite technology, and launch services. What are the key factors driving the growth of Chinese aerospace startups? 1. China's government has launched several initiatives to promote the development of its aerospace industry, including the Made in China 2025 plan and the China Space Station program. These initiatives provide funding, resources, and policy support to startups. 2. Chinese investors, both state-owned and private, are pouring billions of dollars into aerospace startups, providing them with the necessary funding to develop and commercialize their technologies. 3. China has a large pool of skilled engineers and researchers, many of whom are returning from overseas to join the startup ecosystem. 4. China's tech industry is known for its fast-paced and innovative culture, which is driving the development of new technologies and business models in aerospace. What are the impacts on the global aerospace market? 1. Chinese startups are challenging traditional players, forcing them to innovate and adapt to changing market conditions. 2. These startups are introducing new business models, such as satellite as a service and launch on demand, which are disrupting traditional industry norms. 3. They are leveraging economies of scale and advanced manufacturing techniques to reduce costs and increase efficiency. 4. They are also creating new opportunities for international collaboration and partnerships, driving growth and innovation in the global aerospace industry. Here are the examples of Chinese aerospace startups. 1. OneSpace. A private rocket launch company that has developed a reusable launch vehicle, the OSM-1. 2. LandSpace. A private rocket launch company that has developed a number of launch vehicles, including the Zhu-K-1, which is capable of carrying payloads of up to 300 kilograms into low Earth orbit. 3. Galactic Energy. A private rocket launch company that is developing a number of launch vehicles, including the Series 1, which is capable of carrying payloads of up to 400 kilograms into low Earth orbit. The shift in aerospace dominance. For decades, 
Western aerospace companies have dominated the global aerospace industry, leading the way in innovation, technology, and market share. However, the emergence of Chinese aerospace firms is challenging this traditional dominance, forcing Western companies to adapt to a new competitive landscape. Western aerospace companies, such as Boeing, Lockheed Martin, and Airbus, have long been the leaders in the industry, driven by their 1. Technological Advancements Western companies have been at the forefront of innovation, developing cutting-edge technologies that have shaped the industry. 2. Established Supply Chains Western companies have well-established supply chains, with a network of trusted partners and suppliers. 3. Regulatory Influence Western companies have significant influence over regulatory bodies, shaping policies and standards that govern the industry. 4. Global Market Presence Western companies have a strong presence in global markets, with a large customer base and a well-established brand reputation. However, the emergence of Chinese aerospace firms is challenging Western dominance in several ways. 1. Cost Competitiveness Chinese firms are offering lower-cost solutions, leveraging their lower labor costs and government support to undercut Western companies. Two. Innovation and Technology Chinese firms are rapidly developing new technologies, such as advanced materials and propulsion systems, which are rivaling those of Western companies. 3. Government Support Chinese firms are receiving significant government support, including funding, subsidies, and policy backing, which is helping them to accelerate their growth. 4. Market Access Chinese firms are gaining access to new markets, particularly in the Asia-Pacific region, where they are leveraging their geographic proximity and cultural ties to win contracts. Examples of Chinese firms challenging Western dominance 1. COMAC The Commercial Aircraft Corporation of China is challenging Boeing and Airbus with its C919 and ARJ21 aircraft programs. 2. China Aerospace Science and Industry Corporation CASIC, is developing advanced missiles and space systems, rivaling those of Western companies like Lockheed Martin and Raytheon. 3. OneSpace is challenging Western companies like SpaceX and Ariane Space with its low-cost launch services. Western aerospace companies are responding to the challenges posed by emerging Chinese firms in several ways. 1. Partnerships and Collaborations Western companies are forming partnerships with Chinese firms to access new markets and technologies. 2. Investment in Innovation Western companies are investing heavily in research and development to stay ahead of the technological curve. 3. Cost Reduction Western companies are implementing cost reduction strategies to remain competitive with Chinese firms. 4. Regulatory Engagement Western companies are engaging with regulatory bodies to shape policies and standards that govern the industry. Chinese startups are also forming strategic partnerships with other companies and organizations to drive innovation and growth in the aerospace industry. For example, Amentum and Wave Aerospace have forged a strategic partnership to develop uncrewed aircraft systems, including innovative electric, hybrid, and turbojet models. This partnership is expected to drive technological advancements and develop new applications in the aerospace industry. China Aerospace Science and Industry Corporation CASIC, has partnered with several Chinese tech startups, including OneSpace and Galactic Energy, to drive innovation and growth in the aerospace industry. CASIC is also a partner in the Aerospace Information and Satellite Internet Innovation Alliance, which aims to drive technological advancement in the aerospace information field. Major Breakthrough Landspace's successful ZOO K310 km Vertical Takeoff Vertical Landing VTVL, test Landspace's ZOO K3 reusable rocket test was a breakthrough for China's space race with a 10 km six-mile VTVL test in China's Gobi Desert. The test flight was also the first time engine reignition, a critical deceleration phase in rocket recovery, was tested in China. 
The ZU K3 rocket is a two-stage, stainless steel, methane liquid oxygen, methalox, reusable launcher, with a diameter of 4.5 meters and a total length of 76.6 meters. The mass at liftoff will be about 660 tons, and it will be powered by nine TNK-12B engines. The payload capacity to low Earth orbit will be 21,000 kilograms when expendable, and it will carry up to 18,300 kilograms when the first stage is recovered downrange. The ZU K3 rocket can deliver up to 21.3 tons to low Earth orbit for single-use missions and 18.3 tons for recovery missions. Land Space hopes to be able to reuse each rocket up to 20 times. Chinese President Xi Jinping has previously said he wants a strong commercial space industry for domestic purposes and also to counterbalance U.S. dominance. The ZU K3 reusable test rocket completed a 10-kilometer vertical takeoff and landing flight test at the Jiaquan Satellite Launch Center in northwest China. The test rocket is a single-stage liquid oxygen methane vehicle, with a diameter of 3.35 meters and a length of 18.3 meters. It utilizes the same high-strength stainless steel airframe structure as the ZU K3 rocket. Landspace's achievement has a significant impact on the aerospace sector in several ways. 1. The ZU K3 rocket's reusability technology has the potential to significantly reduce the cost of access to space, making it more accessible to a wider range of customers. 2. The rocket's reusability technology also enables more frequent launches, which can accelerate the deployment of satellite constellations and other space-based systems. 3. Landspace's achievement gives the company a competitive advantage in the global launch services market, which is expected to grow significantly in the coming years. Comparison with Western companies Landspace's achievement is comparable to those of Western companies such as SpaceX, which has also developed reusable rockets. However, Landspace's ZU K3 rocket is designed to be more cost-effective and efficient, with a lower cost per launch. Landspace has several plans for the future. 1. ZU K3 makes its maiden flight in 2025. 2. Achieve a first orbital flight in 2025 and recover and reuse the first stage in 2026. 3. Increase its annual launch capacity to 244 tons by 2026. 4. Support China's satellite internet initiatives with its launch services. The rise of Chinese tech startups in aerospace is a significant trend that could have a major impact on the global industry. With their innovative technologies and business models, Chinese tech startups could challenge traditional players and gain a significant share of the global market. However, they may also face regulatory challenges and competition from traditional players. If you like the content in this episode, Please also check out other videos on this channel and subscribe for more updates on China's aerospace innovations and advancements. That's all we have for now, and thank you for tuning in.